On Scorpio Gang Gang Gang, hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, I love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, whatever it takes, Scorpio. To tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below, Scorpio. Let's tap in. So the first overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. All right, so somebody's in love with you, Scorpio, is what I'm hearing. Somebody is coming towards you to confess their love. Okay, it could be a young fire sign. I feel like you're not taking this person seriously, Scorpio, because they're younger than you. I feel like you need to take this person serious. I'm also hearing, too, um... Some of you turned your back on a, a young fire sign as well and went towards happiness, I'm hearing. Take it out, it resonates. Somebody, a Scorpio's on one end of this, so let's see where it's going here. What else for Scorpio? I'm hearing I'll travel to the end of Earth to the end of the earth to find you, Scorpio. Yeah, the four of cups. Somebody is. Somebody is bored with their ad of the situation. Somebody made a wrong choice here or something like that. Let's see. Somebody is very um, remorseful. Somebody is kicking themselves in the foot, in the ass, I mean, you know, in the foot, kicking themselves in the foot. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Somebody chose somebody else, Scorpio. This is you. And I just feel like it didn't work out. I feel like this person, you know, was just who they showed you they were. What else here? I'm feeling like, too, somebody is unable to love. Somebody is incapable of love. Somebody has some type of trauma that's keeping them from being in this family dynamic with you or being able to give you this cup, Scorpio. Yeah, the star card. I feel like you went and got healed. This person stayed the abs absolute same here. I feel like you want this connection more than the other person. Yeah, the two overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, I'm hearing energetically this person chose somebody else over you or you did, Scorpio. I'm getting a younger fire sign here. Don't have to be. But I feel like this person made their choice and now they're bored. It didn't work out. They realized they really didn't love this person or this person really didn't love them. But I feel like you're gone, Scorpio. I feel like you heal from this situation. You got balance. I'm hearing no regrets. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Yeah, the Justice card. Yeah, somebody's getting married. I'm hearing within the next 12 months. Yeah, Strength card is here. You could be... You could be involved with a Leo or a Libra here. Don't have to be. I'm hearing this love is coming to balance you. I'm hearing too this person is coming from distant lands. The Eight of Wands. I'm hearing Africa. This person could be from somewhere like Nigeria, Africa. I'm hearing like the plane ride is like 24 hours or some shit. Or they could be from China or something. I don't know. But I'm hearing you marry this person. They're not, they're foreigner. They're not from, from the States. Your overall energy in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like when this person sees you, they feel like they've never seen anybody that look like you. I feel like you feel the same. Yeah, the Page of Wands is being clarified by the King of Wands. I feel like you walked away from a young fire sign, but I feel like you walking towards, I feel like a King of Wands is walking towards you or entering your space here. And like I said, this person from Nigeria or Africa or somewhere. Some of y'all could be getting mad married for citizenship, but for some of you Scorpios, I'm hearing this is true love.
somebody wants to solidify the connection. They don't like the miles between you guys or the continents between you guys. I'm hearing this was a one night stand, but it turns into something more. Yeah, the seven of pentacles with the king of wands and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, y'all, somebody's trying to figure out how y'all can make this shit work. Somebody's trying to make this work. I feel like this is long distance. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles being here, moving to the Eight of Pentacles, you guys are figuring something out so that, you know, y'all can be together all t at all times. And I feel like that's marriage. Okay? I feel like somebody's very upset. A young fire sign I keep hearing. They played, they played the game too long. I feel like whoever this fire sign is too, Scorpio, they wanted you. But they played the game too long. They thought you were going to stick around because they were younger or some shit. And you was like, nah, nope. There's other shit going on. There's other people popping. Like, you're just not waiting. You're not in the energy of waiting on anybody anymore. You waited too long, Scorpio. Clarify the four cups here. You got the five of swords in reverse. Somebody got finally got their head on straight. <laughs> The judgment in reverse. I, f I feel like, too, you're removing your energy. Now this person is able to get their karma. Yep, look, the Ace of Swords. While you get a victory here, you're being you're able to speak your truth. You're able to move in your power. Scorpio, I'm here. Give me one second, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of people don't like what you have to say, though, but who gives a fuck? I feel like you're moving towards happiness here and moving away from this misery that you've been in. Okay, somebody, I feel like you're being culturally enlightened to by this person. Almost giving me the same same energy of even with Q. It's just like whoever this person is, you, you go right into their culture, you fit in. And they fit in with your family as well. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. You did a lot of worrying about this past connection, the one that you left. I'm hearing don't look back. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Even if it's about stability. I feel like a lot of y'all stayed as long as you did because this person was stable. Okay, but I feel like... um. I feel like this person's money is what's kept you woke, kept you up late at night. Because I feel like this person got enough money to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And that's what they do. This is like a player. Yeah, the Six of Swords. But I feel like Source is moving you away from this person. I feel like Source is building your foundation as well. I feel like, too, whoever this person is, I feel, I feel like they bring a certain wealth to the table. It doesn't have to be monetary. But I feel like it's almost like a wealth of travel or like... You know, they bring something to you that you that you need in your life at that time, okay? Moving forward, let's see why the star is here. I'm here with that star. This person was spiritually guided to you all the way from Nigeria, Africa, wherever the fuck they're from. I'm here and they were spiritually guided to you. Or you were, or vice versa. Take it out, it resonates. Yeah. On the star, you have the four of wands. This is somebody who wants a union, Scorpio. I'm hearing love at first sight. That's why I heard one night stand as well. Yeah, the five of wands. <laughs> I feel like this person, you know, I feel like they're being very aggressive with you, Scorpio, about um, joining as one. Not so much aggressive, but I feel like they're trying to make you see it their way. Like, they don't want to fight with you. They just want to be with you. They don't want to be. They don't want to be in Africa and you be in America. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. This person love you. They want to spend every every waiting hour with you. You know, other than like you know working shit. But this person want to see you every day, not on Skype. They want to feel you. Okay, the Knight of Wands is under the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, this person is trying to figure something out about. This marriage, this connection, something bringing you guys closer. Because with the Eight of Wands, this, with the Eight of Wands being here, y'all are doing a lot of traveling. I just saw the World card in reverse. Somebody doesn't. They want a cycle to end, but not the cycle of you guys. They want the the resistance between you guys. Whatever's whatever's in between you guys being together permanently, this person wants wants it to go on. All right, what's the advice here? 
too many. What's the advice here for Scorpio? You pull the two of cups twice. Yeah. Um, on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, you have the two of swords. This is this is a heavy decision that has to be made, okay? Because the two of cups is your first card out. You got justice, strength, and the eight of wands. That's letting me know a marriage, definitely, or a marriage proposal, long distance connection, a union, somebody coming back together here, reconciliation, whatever you want to call it. But this is faded, okay? I'm hearing this person is spiritually, like y'all, maybe y'all were together in past lives because I just feel like y'all don't keep meeting up like this. I feel like y'all soul remember each other. Okay, your first energy out is the three of wands. Yeah, I feel like your soul remember this person. And I feel like the decision you having to make is a decision of you accepting whoever this new person is as your husband and your soulmate, but really this person is an old soul. This is somebody you've been been married to before here. All right, yeah, then look, the two of cups twice. Definitely your soulmate. This person doesn't want to be without you. I'm hearing this person loves to hold hands. Anything this person is doing, he do, they're doing it in twos. They're doing it for you and they're doing it for them. That's just how this person thinks, okay? you pulling the eight of swords here. It's in the reverse. It's something about this connection that gives you peace. Like I said, this person is bringing wealth to this connection, but it's not money I'm getting. I'm getting travel. I'm getting culture. I'm getting a lot of different things that money really can't afford. That's what this person is bringing to you. And now, um, you also pulled the high priestess. So I feel like, I feel like you're going to be energetically led, Scorpio, to go with this person. And when I say go with this person, I mean marry this person. Such an early courtship or such a you know a, a very small amount of time because i feel like energetically you're gonna feel like you've known this person all your life because you have in other lives okay i bet y'all say every time i do a reading the car is struck huh sorry scorpio let me see sorry about that scorpio let's just pull a few um of the love angels here and see what's going on with this new person person is definitely foreign. Wow. All right. I'm going to take all of them. The first one says healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, Scorpio. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, like I said, the chemistry going to be there. I feel like this is a one night stand or like. If it's not a one night stand, it's like love at first sight. Two people who connect and they just like never separate again. Yeah, very soon this is happening. Somebody is traveling um, either towards you, Scorpio, or you're, to or you're traveling towards this person. But it's happening real soon. It says release your ex here. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, because I feel like whatever's happening is happening abroad. And, and I feel like somebody is going abroad or somebody abroad is coming here. It says you de you deserve love. You are love lovable. And it says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, because I feel like on the bottom of the deck you have um, children here. It's in the reverse. Your love life is being affected by children. I feel like maybe your children are grown, so your love life isn't being affected by children. Um, I feel like that could have been the case in a in a previous connection where you you know kind of went through it where somebody was um using the child as bait per se you know or whatever this is but i feel like sources are just saying you know this connection i know it feels different it looks different you know it shouldn't be happening as quick as as you know it's happening but it's happening this person doesn't this person isn't guarded this person comes in loving you scorpio it's just that you need to make a choice you have the two of swords as your overall energy there and here in the other tarot deck it's the two of pentacles in reverse this person brings some type of balance to your life that money can't afford i'm hearing something about time travel i'm also hearing something about the time somebody travels 
I'm hearing it's very exhausting, the Eight of Swords energy. But I feel like this move and this union is going is what makes that Eight of Swords turn on its head, right? Because it's like now it's a relief. Now I'm not in that whole mindset of hold on, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. With some of you guys, I feel like you were hesitant about this union, but I feel like it flipped. Instead of you being in this self-imposed prison and still, you know, asking the universe to send you, send you someone, you know this person, you're familiar with this person's soul. I'm just getting that. All right, let's get another oracle and we're going to get out of here, Scorpio. One night stand, love at first sight. You could even work with this person. Abroad. <laughs> All right, what's the additional messages here for Scorpio Source? What's the additional message? Yeah, exchanging gifts is the overall energy. That's what I'm saying. With this person, they don't bring money a lot of money but they bring a lot of wealth i keep hearing that from your from your spirit guides this person brings peace they bring balance they bring harmony to your life like this certain calm or quiet i'm getting scorpio because whatever you're giving this person they're giving it back with exchanging the gifts this is it's giving me six of pentacles energy here yeah TikTok. i feel like this is time sensitive I feel like it's it's going to happen quick to everybody. Everybody who it don't have a fuck thing to do with are going to be talking about how quick this is happening. Don't worry about what they say. They're not in a, a healthy connection right now either. And, they, and they're trying to hold you back, Scorpio. Yeah, but it's a higher power fueling this, guiding this. I feel like, too, the more people talk, the more you move towards the direction of this person and them you. Why? Because y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. Y'all exchanging gifts. Yeah. And it says a time to nap. Because it's time to sleep on all these fools. <laughs> That's just what I'm getting. And do what make you happy. Why? Look at the bottom of the deck. Soulmates. This person, you know this person before. Your soul recognizes this person, Scorpio. They, this, this person, this person been trying to make their way back to you forever, I'm here. Okay? This person could have even skipped a couple of lifetimes. Because of you dealing with somebody else or because of you not, not recognizing that soul in one of, one of these lifetimes. Let's see, Scorpio. That sounds weird as fuck. Let's get a few more messages and we gone. I want to see how this person felt about you in the last life that y'all spent together. That's what that's what messages I'm getting now. Alright, so in the last in the last time that y'all were together, this person was in a dark place, Scorpio. They couldn't exchange gifts with you. So this person feels like they've done this, this, soul, this soul purpose work and they're able to return to you now. It says, I want to be inside you now. I feel like this person suffered with a lot of anxieties of, um, a lot of anxiety, Scorpio, of like not knowing whether you're, whether you're protected or whether you're safe in this other life that you're in without them. Because I feel like this person got stuck or held back in another life. It's almost like they skipped a couple and now here they come. It says trust issues. This person had trust issues when they were dealing with you before. Okay, it says please reach out. Yeah, this person is longing for you, Scorpio. Always have. It says I see, I see you in my dreams. Yeah, I kind of feel like... Whatever, whenever you dealt with this person in, a, in another life, I feel like you and this person, y'all just couldn't get it together. And I feel like this person got some type of karma where they had to skip a couple of lives or had to get their shit together before they could approach you again. And this person is coming packaged as a foreigner. I'm getting heavy Africa continent. I don't know. It could be somewhere else. It could be Caribbean. Your overall energy on the bottom of the deck, it says stalking your social media. Yeah, that's that ex. They gonna always stalk your social media. Because this person, they don't understand how you were able to move on so quickly, Scorpio, with this person. But you had no choice. This is faded. Everything in you gravitated to this person and vice versa. Like, it's y'all. It's like a one-night stand or love it for... Like, y'all, whenever you, you and this person, 
happen to connect, y'all, you guys don't disconnect anymore. Not for a long, a long period of time. And I feel like the distance between you guys that y'all gonna close that in by getting married. I'm just hearing that it's not going to be, you know, anything that stand in between you and them every single day, all day, it's, it's getting alleviated by Source and you guys. That's just where y'all at with this shit. Y'all want to be together all the time. I feel like y'all could work together too when I say that y'all probably going to have business together. Or y'all could be working together here in the States. I don't know what this is. You could be getting this person uh, employment here, Scorpio. Or helping them. This could be you helping them getting their paperweight, pep, uh, paperwork situated for the marriage here. Okay, for citizenship. I'm also hearing too, um, you know, that you need to get your passport in order, Scorpio, now. A lot of y'all got expired passports. I feel like this is going to be of a disadvantage to you in like 30 days, 90 days. I'm hearing 369. 30, 60, 90 days, you're going to wish you had already applied for your passport, okay? A lot of travel ahead. You got to understand, Scorpio, a lot of people are, you're going to be meeting different people in different places for different things that you need in your life moving forward. So it's not, when you get this type of advice, go ahead and move in it so that you don't miss any opportunities. You've already missed enough. So like I said, somebody needs to get their passport ready. I'm getting mine ready too. All right. All right, Scorpio, that's been your messages. Like I said, let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl could get all the credit from YouTube. If you like the book of personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.